Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 48 on this side. The next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. Now we have log m raised to power p. The same thing as p log m that is what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log 48 on this side you are just joining us for the first time you are welcome this is master Taiwo. you are watching us at master t math class therefore you are in the right place for mathematics just subscribe and it's actually free click on the subscription button you have been watching us before too you have not subscribed why not why not join us and thank you for doing that and next step here divide both side by log 4 divide this side by log 4 also divide this side by log 4 that this here log 4 cancel each other we have x left which is equals to log 48 over log 4 then next step here we can express 48 as 4 times 12. That is what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 12 over log 4. Don't stop watching yet. Something interesting is here. So watch to the end. Okay, now this follows from the law of logarithm when we have log a times b which can be expressed as log a plus log b that is what we have becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 12 over log 4 and next step here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 12 over log 4 then next step here log 4 cancelled each other we have one left here that is x equals to 1 plus log 12 over log 4 then also here 12 same thing as 4 times 3 and this becomes x equals to 1 plus log 4 times 3 over log 4 that is here yeah, this also follows from the law of log dream and what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 4 plus log 3 over log 4 then here yeah, we separate this into two fractions as this is what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 4 over log 4 plus log 3 over log 4 then here yeah, we have log 4 cancelled each other one left here, which is x equals to 1 plus 1 plus log 3 over log 4. That is, this becomes x equals to 1 plus 1, that's 2, then plus log 3 over log 4. Then, next step here. We can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 2 squared. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 3 over log 2 squared. I hope you have clicked on the subscription button if you have not done so. And thank you for doing that. Okay? Watch this video to the end. Stay tuned for maximum enjoyment of this okay 
Now we apply the power of logarithm. Two comes here. And what we have becomes x equals to two plus log three over two log two, which also we can write as x equals to two plus log three. That is, we have, sorry, we can separate this fraction and we have one over two times log three over log two. And from here, we apply change of base. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. Then what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus half log 3 base 2. And also, from here, we can bring these fractions together as well. This is 2 over 1. That is, we have x equals to the SCM here. That's 2. And here, this becomes 4 now. Then plus, we have log 3 base 2. That is the value of x here we have 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Is it equals to 48 on this side? That is. Next step here. We can rewrite 4 as 2 square, which implies 2 square. Then all raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 48 on this side. Then this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other and we are left with 2 raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 and is equals to 40 on this side. Then we apply the law of indices here. When we have a raised to power n plus n, this same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. At this word, all we have becomes 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 48 on this side? And 2 raised to power 4 implies 2 multiply itself 4 times. That's 16. Then times a follows on we have a raised to power log b base a, which is equals to b. And what we have here is something as 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Of course, 16 times 3 equals 48, which is equals to 48 here. That this left-hand side is equals to the right-hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the description bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.